all the pressure ranges will increase stem cell mobilization, and we can use that as part of a strategy for healing and regeneration. We also combine this therapy with additional stem cell therapies, and we do that a few different ways. For starters, if we were using it for, let's say, joint repair, and we knew we were going to do stem cells in a given joint, but that joint is inflamed and it's damaged, well, we also know that in addition to mobilizing stem cells, hyperbaric reduces inflammation. So what if we did a series of therapies using hyperbaric to reduce the joint inflammation and to begin stimulating growth, repair, and regeneration of tissue? We start mobilizing more stem cells into that area, and then we provide that joint with a direct injection of additional stem cells versus having this angry and inflamed joint that we just add stem cells to almost to surprise the tissue with an additional level of healing. Now, even when people add stem cells directly into an angry and inflamed and damaged joint, many see great results. But for me, it makes sense to say, can we prepare the body? Can we get the body more ready to handle this additional therapy by reducing that inflammation, by stimulating some healing and repair mechanisms, and by mobilizing our own endogenous stem cells prior to that stem cell injection. So a standard protocol that we use would be somewhere between 10 to 20 sessions prior to the stem cell therapy in an attempt to prepare the body, then adding the stem cell therapy in. In some cases, that may be stem cells, it may be exosomes, it may be direct into the joint, it may be IV. There are a variety of ways to implement stem cell therapies. And then within a day or two after, continue nourishing the body with additional oxygen for another 10 to 20 sessions post. In my opinion, this would be one of the ways to get the most out of the additional stem cell therapies that we're trying to do in a way to prepare the body, lower the inflammation, stimulate healing, get the stem cell therapy, again, whether that's IV or injection, and then continue to nourish, feed, reduce the inflammation, and continue the healing process with additional oxygen on the other side.